Hello everybody, it's Ed. Welcome to the channel for this really quick video. I just wanted to show you something cool on the, the SuperNote desktop app. In full transparency, I want you to know they are still working on some of the sync issues with the SuperNote cloud, but this video is for those of you who use something else. Whether it's OneDrive or Google Drive, there's a really good way now for you to be able to view notes on your PC natively. And I know that's something a lot of you have been wanting, and I think everybody really has. And I'll show you how that function works. And the cool part about it is you don't have to use the SuperNode Cloud for it. I still think the SuperNode Cloud is great, and I think it'll be a good platform once they get these bugs worked out with the apps and all of the syncing with the devices. And they are working through that. But in the meantime, or if you live in a Microsoft or a Google ecosystem, this is a great way to use the functionality that's in the app. So right here, we're on the settings screen for the SuperNote Partner app on Windows. And you'll see AutoSync here, and I have disabled that. So you disable AutoSync. Now you aren't syncing with the SuperNote Cloud. And it natively doesn't sync with OneDrive or with Google Drive. The other thing, and you'll notice here, and now we're in my OneDrive. I went ahead and synced up from my SuperNote to OneDrive, and I have all of these files. And what you'll see, which is kind of cool, is they all have the SuperNote logo. What you don't get that you get on the SuperNote partner app by using it natively is these would have the same preview that you would have on the SuperNote. But having that icon there lets you know that these are SuperNote files. Now, what's really cool about this is when I click on that, you'll see it's going to automatically open in the desktop app. And that's whether the app is open or not. Once you get this installed on your PC, you can open these files right from where you're at. I don't know if it works on the phone with the app installed. My guess would be not because that automatically syncs by default. But it's just really cool that you can do it on your desktop. Now, what you're not going to be able to do is if there were links embedded, it's not going to be able to find the associated file that's in that link because it's not in the same file structure from what the app would be syncing. But as far as being able to open the notes themselves, it's very quick. All you have to do is open up, and there they are. Pretty cool. Then once you're in the page, you can do that same functionality that you would have from the super notes. You can export this as a PNG or a PDF. You can export it as text, change the sizing. So you can export it at 400 and say we want to do a PNG. We hit OK. It's going to ask us where to put that. Let's put it on the desktop really quick. And we'll say open file path. Now we go to the desktop. And there's our PNG file. It's that quick, and that gives you a certain amount of functionality that you wouldn't have normally before. It's important to know that what's happening here is that the PC in the background is associating this file type, the .note, with the SuperNote desktop app. Just like they would Adobe, just like they would Word, just like any other file type, they're saying this is the default app, we need to open this particular file. And what that does is allow a whole bunch of possibilities that didn't exist before. Now that you've opened this note, you can look at it as a thumbnail if there are multiple pages. You can look at the table of contents. You can go to a specific page. You can recognize the language. Or you can go ahead and export as normal. Anyway, a very quick video. Thank you all so much for tuning in. As always, we're at 947 subscribers. We're really close to 1,000. Please, if you haven't subscribed before, subscribe, like, say hello in the comments. Let me know whether this will be useful for you. Again, what's nice about it is it allows you to 
interact with your notes from your computer without having to sync to the Supernode cloud, if that's your choice. It's just another way that Supernode has let you decide how you want to use their devices. Until next time, I will see you soon.